Hello, and welcome to an episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up many of these smart devices such as e-readers, nooks, Kindle fires, even smartphones. I've got a Blu-ray player I'm going to show you and a TV I'm going to show you. Now, a lot of these devices like the iPads and tablets and stuff all do have Wi-Fi capabilities. Now, I've shown you before how to set up your own Wi-Fi network. So now, I'm going to show you how you connect a lot of these devices. I don't have them all, but this will give you a basic understanding how it's done. So let's get started. Here I'm going to show you how to set up a typical TV. Now this is one of the smart TVs that has internet capabilities, media sharing, local networks, things like that. So I'm going to show you how you can set this up to your network. It's fairly simple. They can either use Wi-Fi or they use Ethernet. And it will depend on what model you have. Now to start, let's go into menu. Now a lot of this you just have to use your remote you'll want to go to setup or settings depending on your model and then scroll down to network now this TV here is connected using an Ethernet now as you can see here the network type is showing that it's wired now if you select wired it will also show you the other options that the TV has well in this case it's only wired now, to do the network setup, it's not very complicated. All this needs to be is on auto. If you're using a router, as I am here, and I've shown you how to connect routers and how to connect PCs to it, now we're showing how to do devices. Here it's all set up for automatic, meaning that the router automatically configures your TV and whatever device you have else connected to it to know how to access the internet or how to access your router or your network. Uh, the internet protocol setup should be on auto. Your DNS setup should be also on auto. There's no other configurations you have to have. Now, if for instance you do have your network set up for static IP addresses, then you would have to uh, set the, set this up. But as long as it's on automatic, there's no other, there's no further uh, setup required. Now, I'm going to show. Once you have your everything connected, you got it on setup and it's on automatic. Now you can do a network test. Just select that one, and the TV will automatically check to see if everything is working, and if it is. It will automatically give you this message saying that it's working out properly. And if you're still having problems, then you know you cannot uh, contact your network service provider. But as you can see here, everything is checked. Now hit return, and the TV is set up and ready to go. Now the next thing I want to show you is the Blu-ray players. Let me get on the menu or source. I need to change to uh, the Blu-ray, let it connect, 
Now, once you have your Blu-ray hooked up, uh, most of them have a choice. You can do either Ethernet connection using the cable, or you can use a Wi-Fi connection. Some of these do have built-in Wi-Fi capabilities. Now, when you turn it on, and there's no disc in the player, you should prob you'll probably come up with something like this. This is the main menu. Now, usually this comes up when you first set them up. Sometimes, uh, if you go into network, then it will automatically bring up this message. Uh, TVs and Blu-rays do have these features such as Netflix and Cinema Now and Pandora. And to do these, you have to have the internet. Well, you also have this little box saying it does not seem to have a properly configured internet connection. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now, in some cases, like this one here, you can press the red button as it indicates, and it will automatically bring up the wireless. Now, in most other cases, you can just scroll for settings, and then look for network, and it will show you what your current network configuration is. As you can see here, it's not connected. Now, it brings you back to this wireless list. We're going to choose network list. And what this will do is give you a list of all the networks that the system detects. As you can see, there's two of them and it's listed. And four, there are four of them on the bottom, but there's only two that works. Now, it will identify as to uh, the type of Wi-Fi that the access point uh, uses. In this case it uses B, G, and N for the Belkin. And it also for my Linksys it uses only B and G. Now you can use the signal which identifies the signal, shows you how strong the signal is. The padlock shows you if it's encrypted or if it's unlocked, meaning you can connect it with no uh, further uh, configurations. Now you just select the ones that you want to uh, connect to. In this case, we're going to connect to Belkin. Now, assume now because it says it's password protected, it'll bring you up to this. All you have to do is enter the password or the encryption key that the network uses. Now, as I said before, Belkin does have its own uh, key because they come pre-configured. And then once you uh, select that, choose Connect. And then when you choose Connect, it'll automatically give the appropriate credentials, obtain an IP address, and now it says you're connected. And then choose Close. And that's all you have to do for this part. Now, other parts you can do is you can use what's called Wi-Fi Protected Setup, or WPS. Some routers, such as the Belkin here, has this capability. It's a small button that sits on the front of the, of the router that's labeled WPS. And what this does is automatically configures all of your devices at the same time. There's no intervention, there's nothing you have to set up. Just push the button, the router will do the rest. And I'll give you an example. We'll go here. As you can see here, it shows that it's going to try and connect. I'll push the WPS on the router. And in most cases, you'll see the light start flashing. And you can see that it's already found it. Now, the router will automatically configure the Blu-ray player. And as you can see, now it says success, meaning everything is connected. I got an icon that says it's connected, and then we just choose OK. That's another way you can automatically set up your device if it has WPS capabilities. Not all of them do. Now you can also set these up manually. All manually, you have to choose the SSID, you enter it here, and then if it's encrypted, you enter the password or the key here and then choose connect. 
and that's all you have to do to set up the wireless for the Blu-ray players. And they're, they, they differ from model to model. TVs are the same way. Uh, you can go down to IP settings and here it will show you how your network is configured. You want to make sure that it says dynamic or it says auto or uh, DHCP or DCHP however you want to look at it. I'm just going off the top of my head. And then once you get it done, you can choose apply and you can choose the network test. Now let me show you what this network test does. Now once you have everything configured, go to network test and this will comp uh, complete a test on your network to ensure that everything is connected. And that's all you have to do to get your Blu-ray and your TV connected. So now let me show you how to do some other devices. Now the next device that I'm going to show you is a typical smartphone. In this case it's a Blackberry. Now you also get the Blackberries, you got the iPhones, you got the Androids, you got all kinds of smartphones out there that do have Wi-Fi and internet capabilities. Now note that if you use your cell towers or your cell phone's internet service not only do you use up your data stream plan but you also use up more power on your cell phone. So anytime you're near a network or a Wi-Fi hotspot, it's best to let your phone switch to Wi-Fi's. And that way, you're not using up your data stream and you're using less power on your batteries. Now, to set one of these up, it's fairly simple. You turn on the screen. I'll need to go to Applications, or in your case, you may need to go into Settings. Uh, there's a different icon for the Wi-Fi, such as this one here. You'll spot that one. Now just press that one. Now, as you can see here, I have it, the Wi-Fi feature enabled, so you want to check, make sure that your Wi-Fi on your phone is turned on. Now, we'll need to go to Set Up Wi-Fi Network and it will automatically check to see what networks are in range. As you can see here it's found my Belkin. It shows you what my signal strength is and it shows that the padlock indicates that it's encrypted. Now if it's not encrypted it will automatically connect to it once you choose it. Now we'll select this one. Again it's going to bring it up and show you that we need to enter the pass key. So let's enter the pass key. Now when you do these encryptions it does have to be exact capital letters are sensitive. Now once you have it entered then all you have to do next is press connect. It'll say please wait that it's connecting. And then once you're connected it'll show that you're connected now now your phone has Wi-Fi capabilities and you're also connected to the internet. That's how you pretty much set up the smartphone. Now the next device I'm going to show you is the Nook by Barnes & Noble. It's an e-reader. This one here is the Electronic Ink and what we're going to do is show you how to connect this to your local network or to your router. We just need to turn it on. We'll have the screen that pops up. Now you need to scroll this to where you can find this Wi-Fi symbol. This is for your Wi-Fi connection. Touch that. Be sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on. It says that the Wi-Fi is disconnected. So let's tap that. And it's going to scan at the top for a Wi Fi. And as you can see, it has detected one, my Belkin. Now, over here, it will show you that it's the signal strength and if it's encrypted. We'll tap that.
Now, it will tell you what it's found about the uh, network. Shows you everything that it's using. We want to choose connect. Now, since it is encrypted, I have to enter the passphrase. Now, once you have your passphrase entered, now you can uh, choose connect. Here you just go to the bottom and choose submit. And it will start connecting. Now, once it's completed, it'll show that it has been connected to the Belkin. Now, your Nook is ready to go. Now, the next device I'm going to show you is a Kindle Fire. And I'm sure many of you probably have one of these. And I'm going to show you how you can connect this to your local network. Basically, all you have to do is just open it up. You'll come to the, the main screen. You'll take the the lock, open it up. Now up here at the top, you'll notice your your name that you the name that you gave your Kindle, the time, and the battery power. Now just touch up here. You'll notice that a little menu just popped down, and all we have to do, and see what happens. Just scroll it down. Now you'll need to look for the Wi-Fi now the Wi-Fi will come up it says the uh, Bluetooth your Wi-Fi which is turned on you'll notice that right here it says on and it's got a little orange uh, marker underneath it make sure it's turned on down here it lists the na networks that it has found Again, as you can see, it picked up another one. Choose the one that you're going to use, which we'll use the Belkin. Now, here, if it's encrypted, it'll bring you to this screen. If it's not, it will automatically connect and then you're set to go. But since you're, this one is encrypted, now I have to insert the passcode or the password. Now, once you have it entered, you do have an option to hide password if you need uh, to turn it off so you can see what you're typing. Uh, you can also show advanced options. Now what this does is it chooses your DHCP, which you don't have to worry about that. This is what it's set for. And then choose connect. Now it'll tell you what it's doing and then at the bottom of it, it will change indicating that it has connected to the network. And that is basically all there is to do to set up your Kindle Fire to your wireless network. Well, this concludes this episode of ES Repair. I've shown you how to connect a TV to your router. I've shown you how to do uh, your Blu-ray disc. I've shown you how to uh, smartphones, uh, nooks, and candle fires. Hopefully this will be enough to let you get you to understand, you know, this is basically simple. And now all your devices that you have can now access your network. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.